Representative Paul Hodes is drawing criticism for his extensive use of so-called franking privileges that allow congressmen to send mail to their constituents at taxpayer expense. Adam Sexton joins us live with Hodes' explanation. Adam? Gene, Congressman Hodes says he just wants to keep people in his district informed, but Republicans argue his efforts are a waste of public funds. It's called a frank, taxpayer-financed mail members of Congress send to their constituents. According to the National Taxpayers Union, Congressman Paul Hodes has already spent more than $133,000 on the mailings this year. Well, I think the congressman is proud of the communication he sent to, his, uh, to the people that he represents. Um, he believes it's important to stay in touch. The New Hampshire GOP is attacking Hodes over the mailing, pointing to the fact that his Republican predecessor, Charlie Bass, spent about $13,000 on franking in all of 2006. Paul Hodes is doing it at nearly 10 times the rate of his predecessor, whom he criticized for this kind of thing. So he went to Washington to change it, but in fact he so quickly adopted Washington's ways as his own. Republican Party Chairman Fergus Cullen also argues that the Frank too closely resembles a campaign ad. At first glance, some have the same reaction. It looks like a campaign advertisement to me. But after Hode's constituent Brett Minahan reads beyond the front page, he changes his mind. It's information that people should have and know about. Others say the subject of the mailing, gas prices, is what makes them think it is campaign related. Covering the, the, uh, the situation that he's covering here. You know, it can't help but be because it's something we're all facing. All Franks are vetted by a bipartisan commission of Democrats and Republicans, which gave the okay to Hode's most recent mailing. It is something that some voters might react to and not like in the context of the overall campaign, but it's something I think that they would see most other members doing. It is important to note that franking is used extensively by Democrats and Republicans. Representative Carol Shea Porter recently sent out this flyer on the economy, although she has spent less on these mailings than Representative Hodes. Reporting live, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.